Hi, and welcome to the Sabbath Christian Church's online sermon. A good father's prosperity ennobles and enables his family and friends. Part of the root meaning of Abraham and Abram is the Ab with the ending of plenty and prosperity. It's Abashioa in uh, a broken English for the Hebrew and it, uh, it also the, uh, it, it means the uh, prosperity and prosperous. Now, how does one become prosperous? In this day and age, there are uh, many groups of certain people that want prosperity, control and rule over money and all their possessions and everything else. This is not the meaning of prosperity in terms of the biblical understanding. <clears throat> prosperity comes from a different way and for a different purpose. There are some prosperous people that are very generous and very helpful with their uh, prosperity. Uh, offering jobs and other kinds of things like that. But mostly prosperity is a, well, we'll take a look. And he says to Abram, I will make you a great nation. Get out of town. And I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you and make your name great. And so you shall be a blessing. He, God will bless him. And through uh, Abram, people receive a blessing. He will be a blessing for them. Why? Because he showed his faith. He got out of town just as Noah comes back to Noah. Noah was willing to uh, build an ark in the middle of nowhere, nowhere near the water. And he got out of town in a different way. Now, his, be, his being brought to the knowledge and worship of the true God had probably been considerably time before uh, people of the Bible have observed. This call included two promises. First, showing the land as prosperity, the land of Canaan, which became uh, Israel, and even to, to today, it's the same spot. Uh, and the future the land of prosperity, and the second, that in his prosperity, all the earth would be blessed. Because if you look down through history, and you trace the genealogy down through to Jesus, both for uh, his, uh, uh, his uh, father and mother. Uh, he, the all the earth, is pro becomes prosperous because he died for the sins of uh, people. The, the, the sins of people uh, have brought death to themselves, and uh, only the few in the beginning would receive the prosperity of eternal life and so forth. He says, and I will bless those who bless you and the ones who curse you, I will curse. And you and the families of the earth will be blessed, talking thousands of years in the future, step by step. By faith, Abram, Abraham, when he was called, obeyed by going out of the place he was going to see, Bruce says this, going out of the place he was to receive an inheritance and he went out not knowing where he was going. Uh, Hebrews is tracing the faith of the people of ancient times there in this case. It came about that when he came near Egypt, he instead of going directly to Canaan, he made a pit stop. And it was not such a good idea in one sense, but it turned out for him. <clears throat> that he said to Sarai, his wife, See, I know you're a very beautiful woman, and when the Egyptians see you, they will say, This is my wife, and they will kill me, but they will let you live. So he was afraid to go in there, and uh, his trust wavered a bit there, and he says, Please say that you're my sister, that it may go well with you, and I may live on the count of you. So it came about when Abram came into Egypt, back to Egypt again, a place of big trouble for uh, God's people. 
the Pharaoh's officials saw her and praised her to the Pharaoh, and the woman was taken into the Pharaoh's wife. And therefore he treated Abraham for her sake, being the brother, and uh, gave him sheep and oxen, donkeys, male and female servants, female donkeys and camels. Well, not camels don't taste very good, I understand, I'm kidding. But uh, the Lord struck Abraham, uh, struck the Pharaoh, you know, do this to one of my people, and his house with great plagues because of Sarah, Abram's wife. Then the Pharaoh called Abram and says, What is this you have done to me? Why did you not tell me she was your wife? Ah. Why did you say she's my sister? So that I may take her uh, for a wife. Now then, here's your wife. Take her and go. Uh, he got in touch with God's uh, uh, power and uh, revenge on him. And he commanded his men concerning him, and they escorted him away, his wife, and all that belonged to him from Pharaoh. First step was by mistake, but uh, because of that, and because of what Pharaoh did, uh, God blessed Abram, because the Pharaoh gave him all of these things, because uh, the Pharaoh messed with one of God's people. And give him these blessings. God, uh, God gave Abram his wealth through the Pharaoh. Who Abram feared until God intervened. Fear God. God intervened. Taught Abram a huge lesson here. Uh, that was the most humiliating rebuke, and Abram deserved it. He had, uh, had not God interfered. He might have been tempted to stay in Egypt and forget the promise. This was a big, big deal, and he ended up with all these goods and wealth and stuff. He remained with them through the enemies. That the world is not like the rest, like Noah's world before the flood. So God blessed him in spite of Abraham's mistake and uh, took care of him. And he made a covenant with Abram and to Isaac and he confirmed that I will give you the land of Canaan as a portion of your inheritance. And there will be a few in number, very few, and strangers in it. So this is Abraham going to the land that God promised eventually to uh, Israel, uh, except they got stuck with uh, Egypt for a while themselves. He says, uh, God, uh, uh, the, uh, the prophet says, do not touch them, my anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm. And that's what the lesson is to those who do bad things to God's people. And it says that Abraham, was very rich in livestock and silver and gold when he was very old and advanced in age he oops lost my place and very old and advanced in age the Lord blessed Abraham in every way he worked for it after he received the goods we will be prospered by God. God will always take care of his people. Maybe some rough spots to that, but God will always, always take care of his people. And now, as we said, that he continues, uh, the, this prosperity continues on to his family. Now Isaac was Abraham's son and sold the land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold and the Lord blessed him. Now the blessings come from God but he received the blessings from his father who received it from God because Isaac lived up to the same kind of faithfulness not simply but same kind of faithfulness that uh, Abraham did. The man became rich and continued to grow rich until he became very wealthy had possession of flocks and herds and a great household that the Philistines envied him. Abram's two things, his physical blessings and his spiritual blessings are passed on to Isaac. And this is where God's blessings come from. There's more to the blessings than uh, the faith as Jesus will show us next time. A good father's prosperity enables and ennobles his family and friends. God is our good father. Amen.
and thank you for watching and listening.